Hello, I'm Mr. Jamie, and welcome to Making Your First Animation. The software we will be using is called Animator, and you can get it for free at animator.com. Sorry, Apple users, it only works on Windows. Chapter 1, Object Mode. Get familiar with the tools for object mode that we'll be using. You'll need specifically the Move tool, the Stretch tool, Add Steer, and Add Cylinder. And let's get started. The first thing we always want to do is go to View and select All. I accidentally selected Front. Let's do that again. View, All. And now we're going to add a cylinder. Click the Add Cylinder tool. Hold the left mouse button and drag down. Try to make it as straight as possible. Go to Build, Convert to Mesh. Now let's get our Stretch tool. Hold the mouse down to stretch it. Stretch it both in Front View and Top View. And now we need another, uh, first we need to move it, move tool, center it. Now we need another cylinder, hold the mouse and drag down, convert it to a mesh under build, and get your stretch tool and shape it, both in front view and in top view. Now get your move tool, and we're going to set that on top of the other one, that's going to be a neck. And now we're going to go to edit, we're going to copy and edit paste. Get your move tool and move it up. And get your stretch tool and stretch it out, both in front view and top view. This is going to be the head. Get your move tool and adjust it and set it on the neck nicely. Now we need another cylinder, cylinder tool, add cylinder tool. Hold the left mouse button and drag, get it as straight as possible. Go to build and convert to mesh, stretch it out. This is going to be an arm, so we just need to stretch it a little. Get your move tool and position it next to the body. And we're going to do a little shortcut here. Go to Build and choose Mirror or Mirror Image. Click OK. Another one appears. Now we're going to go to the Select arrow to select just one arm and click Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste. Get your Move tool and move the copied item down. That's our leg. Now we're going to mirror that. Go to Build, Mirror or Mirror Image, depending on the version of the program you have. OK. And then we need a sphere, so click the sphere tool, hold the left mouse button and drag, go to build and convert to mesh, get the stretch tool and shrink it down a bit in front view, elongate it in top view, get your move tool and move it into the head, and in top view pull it forward. I'm going to shrink mine a little, go back to the stretch tool because it's a little longer than I want, and there we go. Now go to build, and we will mirror image again. Click OK. It didn't quite come out right, so I'm going to select an eye with the select arrow. Hit the Move tool and adjust it. Use the select arrow to select the other eye and use the Move tool to adjust it. And now it's time to add some color. Click the Materials Editor. Double click the word New. Move the slider, the fader, up all the way to white. Click the black rectangle and move that one all the way up to white. Next to the word Emissive, we want to type point .3. That will give us a little glow. And then click OK. With the select arrow, click the body. I'm sorry, click the eye, wrong thing. Click the eye and click apply. And double click new to make a new color. Move the color selector in the wheel to red and fade it down to make a nice bright red. Click OK. With the select arrow, click the body and click apply. Click the head and click apply. Now double click new for a new color. This one's going to be black, so we're going to drop that fader almost all the way to the bottom and hit OK. And then we're going to select an arm, hit apply, select an arm, hit apply, select the leg, hit apply, select the leg, hit apply. We should have done the neck, but we'll do that in a minute because I forgot to. Settings, object, call it robot. Click OK, and now I'll go ahead and do the neck, click the neck, click apply. And we're ready. Go to File. Save as. Type, find a place on your computer where you want it, and then type the name. I'm going to just call it Robot, and click Save. And that will complete Chapter 1.